Hi, Helen here. I hope you can see me. The light isn't very good here. Indoors today because it's not so nice outside. So I was prompted to do this video by a conversation I had with a wonderful friend of mine. So who are you comparing yourself to? And this is a very, really resonates with me because for a long, long time, I spent um, my life comparing myself to other people, wanting to be other people, copying other people. And if you've read it in my blogs, helen-linger.com or even work with helen-linger.com, you might have read about me. I used to get told off by teachers asking me, who did your homework, Helen? Or um, did you do this work? Because I would copy people's writing and I would try and dress like other people, have my hair cut like other people, you name it. Anybody but myself because my self-esteem was that low back in the day. However, as I grew up, got older, and certainly since I immersed myself in personal development, that all changed. And now, whilst I have people I would I aspire to be, and you know, they are people I look up to, I'm very happy being me. So, um, and it's very important not to compare yourself with anybody else because everybody has their own journey. We all have to get where we get to get to in our own time. And there's a um there's a, sorry, my arm's getting tired. There's a famous saying called, you are where you're, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. And you have to go through all the struggles you go through to get where you do, where you do. Because for me, I've been through lots of challenges. And I know that each and every one of those challenges has brought me to where I am now. So I would say, I would strongly encourage you not to compare yourself with anybody else. Just focus on being better you today than you were yesterday. And Recently, a, a wonderful one of the really supportive Facebook groups I'm in, um, we all posted what how where we'd come from, and it was quite incredible. Me looking back at my past, it really made me realise how far I've come. Because when I was young, I had no self esteem, wouldn't say boo to a ghost, and um, I have moved across the world from South Wales to the to New Zealand, and you know I'm a single parent and. Um, I've just come such a long way, but we tend to spend so much of our time thinking what you haven't achieved, what haven't achieved, and knocking ourselves for, you know, we're not doing good enough, instead of thinking, my goodness, I've come so far, I'm being grateful for what we do have now. So I strongly suggest you stop comparing yourself to anybody else, they've got their own journey, and this thing we shared yesterday, it was quite incredible, you know, we we learned somebody had been through abuse and violence and um, single parenting, solo single parenting without the other partner in in, in the um, picture. And it just made you realise that we know so little of what's going on behind closed doors. You know, that person who's so successful, you don't know what, what's happening with them. They could be, you know, in debt or, you know, everybody who's anybody has gone through struggles to get where they are. So do not compare yourself to anybody else. Find somebody you admire and emulate them. Do what they do and, you know, a mastermind with other people who are getting to where you want to go to, but don't compare yourself with anybody but yourself. And constantly tell yourself, you know, okay, I've done this, and write down a list if you need to, at least every day of what you need to do, and know that at the end of the day, okay, I did eight of those people, things on that, eight out of ten of this, eight out of ten of those things on that list. Sorry, I tend to talk fast. So, quit comparing yourself to anybody else. Just tell yourself every day, I'm doing better than I did yesterday. And just focus on you and how far you've come. And pat yourself on the back because you've come so far and you're doing so well. So that's all for this day. I hope I haven't spoken too fast through this. And um, I'll blog about this too so you can read it because I realise I've spoken quite fast in some of this. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.